Hello everyone, I am coming to you today with a fountain pen collection video. I had posted a fountain pen collection video last year. I want to say it was mid last year. If you have not seen that video, I will link it down below. Um, but my collection has definitely grown since then. And I thought it would be fun to do kind of like my collection as it stands at the beginning of 2021. And then as I acquire more, because I expect to <laughs> during this year, I'm going to do another one at the end of the year to kind of show what I've added to the collection. So in that video that I posted last year, my fountain pen collection video was in a superior labor pen roll. And um, I eventually ordered a Galen pen, 20 pen slot, 20, what? Galen leather, 20 slot pen case. Um, I've been eyeing this for so, so long. Um, and when I outgrew that pen roll, I decided now's the time to get the bigger pen case. So this, I believe, is the color called Forest Green, and it is the 20 pen slot, and it is gorgeous. Um, I, before I ordered, I was pretty sure I wanted to get one of their, the brown, more neutral colors, but I decided to go with the green, um, simply because all of my traveler's notebooks, all of my planners, almost all of those things are going to be in the neutral colors, and I figured adding a little bit of green would be cool because it's not like a journal cover that I'm using day in and day out. Um, and I'm so glad that I did this because it is stunning. The weather is so weird today, so you may hear the wind blowing at some point, but it's dreary and dark. So that's why there's some glare from the light overhead and the, the color is just not showing up well here. Um, if you have followed me on Instagram, I do have like a short little clip posted of this case. You can check out the color, but I love this pen case. So um, if you are not familiar, it comes with 10 slots on this side, 10 on this side, and then a little, um, I don't know what material this is. Is it microfiber? I'm not really sure, but a little sleeve like in the middle just to protect the pens from rubbing against each other. On this side, I have my modern pens and on this side, I have my vintage. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the collection. So on this side, I have shared these so many times. These are my three Pelican pens. This is the Pelican M800. I have to say out of all of my pens, this is my most favorite. I just, I love the body, it's heavy, and I just, every time I ink it up, I'm just so excited to write with it. I love this pen, and it has a fine nib, which is really juicy. And I have to say with the Pelican pens, they're, it is like, they're able to host so many different inks wet inks, dry inks, um, really pigmented inks, not so pigmented inks. They just, I have yet to find an ink that the Pelican does not like. And then I do, I do have two Pelican M400s. Um, this is the white tortoise. And I actually have this inked up currently, but on this one, I have a extra fine nib that I had Ground to a Stub by Dan at the Nibsmith. And then this one is the Brown Tortoise, and this just has a regular extra fine nib. Okay, of course, Kai is asking for a snack right now, so I'll be right back. All right, I have set Kai up with a snack, so I think I left off with these two. Um, I did used to have a Pelican M600 with a green stripe body that I sold, but I have left this space blank because I do have a Pelican M600 um, in the red tortoise shell, I believe it's what it's called, um, on its way to me. So this is like, I'm reserving this space for that beauty. Um, yeah, so I'm a big, big fan of Pelican. The next is the only sailor pen I have, and it's a sailor mini. Um, I decided to add this to my collection because it, it's just so, so, so cute. But I have to say that I struggle 
with these sailor nibs. I have found over the past year of using fountain pens that I prefer like wetter nibs and I just can't seem to figure out what inks I like most in the sailors. So I don't use this as often, but I like having it in my collection because how can I not have a sailor in my fountain pen collection? <laughs> This is my Platinum 3776, um, one of the first fountain pens that I ever purchased. And this has a medium nib on it, and it is the Cherry Blossom Celluloid Body. If you watched my last video, you will know that I have had a Pilot Custom 823 in my collection for a very long time, but in that last video, the cap had it was actually broken and I love the Pilot Custom 823. It's just such a smooth writing experience but I just could not get over the fact that I was missing like this top part of the cap um, and I had reached out to Pilot and it just like was a whole to do um, having to have that fixed and actually kind of expensive so I figured I'll just wait until I can buy another custom E23 and I did and I actually got it with a medium nib so I'm so glad to have one that is not all broken <laughs> this um, is a Caveco Brass Sport um, I have done a review on this that I will link down below I this is just such a fun fun pen and then this next pen, I waited a long time for because it was a custom. This is the Nakaya Decapod. And I'm going to have to link down or write down in the description box exactly what color it is because it's in Japanese and I can't remember. <laughs> but I did get a medium nib on it. Um, this is just gorgeous. I don't know how to describe this color. It's like a burnt red color. I don't know. It's just... It's stunning and the nib is amazing. I believe they are the sailor nibs. I don't I don't really know. I think I had read that somewhere. If you know, please comment down below, but this pen is gorgeous. So yeah, those are my modern pens. As you can see, I have room for one more on that side. And then these are my beautiful vintage pens. So it has definitely grown since last year, and I've also sold a few from last year as well. So these are all very much loved, and I do use all of them um, because they're amazing. So the top one here is my Parker Duofold Senior in the Streamline Body. And this is from the 1930s. I do have this inked up currently. Um... The color is called Orange Permanite. That's the what it's made out of. And on this particular one, it has a Parker Vacuumatic nib. And this one is fine. I want to say, no, I'm not going to say that. I was going to say all of them are fine, but they're not. So these three are Parkers. So that's the Senior Streamline 1930s. This is my Parker Duofold Junior from the 1930s with a burgundy marble body. She is the first vintage pen I ever purchased and I just absolutely adore her. Um, and she has a fine body as well. And then this little cutie, oh my gosh. Um, I just recently added, the, added this to my collection. This is the Parker Duofold Junior Ret from the late 1920s and it has a mandarin yellow body with a triple cap band. Um, I think that makes it special. I don't really know. <laughs> and that's the fine um, dual fold nib. When I opened this, the color made me gasp. It is just so bright and cheerful. I am a big, big fan of the Parker dual folds. I just think that they they all write lovely. They're very wet inks. Uh, I mean, wet nibs, and they're just fantastic. So if you are looking to invest in a fountain pen, a vintage fountain pen, I highly recommend Parker Dual Folds. They're fantastic. The next one is the Conklin Endura Standard. Um, and it did not have the year, 
but I want to say it was between the 1920s and 1930s. Oh, here comes my son again. Be right back. All right, sorry about that. Um, Kai is currently potty training, so you cannot ignore those calls. So I think I left off at the Conklin Endura. So this is my Conklin Endura standard. I believe it's from the 1920s or 1930s. This is a beautiful black and bronze body. Um, and it has a 14 carat, is it 14 carat? I can't remember, but it's a fine nib. I want to say it is 14 carat. But um, this is also inked up um, and she's just a great writer. It's my first Conklin and I'm really enjoying her. These next five pens are my Schaefer's. This was my second vintage pen purchase. Um, and I just love this pen. This is the Schaefer Oversized Balance. And what's really cool about it is it does have um, an inscription on it, WPF, probably the initials of the person that first purchased it. And what I love about this pen is it is a fine nib with a stub grind. And I actually dropped it so the nib and the feed are misaligned and I have to send it to a nibmeister to get that fixed. But... This is just a great pen. It has a huge ink capacity and just, I love writing with stub nibs. And having a vintage one is really cool. This is the Schaefer flat top pen with a green body. It has black ends. And this is also from the 1930s with a fine nib. This is probably my least favorite of all of them. And it's only because the it's very scratchy when I write with it. Um, and as you know, I do prefer wetter nibs and it tends to be on the drier side. So I don't write with it as much, but she's beautiful. And then I absolutely love the Schaefer Duckaways and I do have three of them. These pens are from the, I wanna say the 1940s and I will pull them all out at the same time so you can look at them. So I do have the, this is the blue, um, Persian blue, I believe is what it's called. Persian blue, this has a medium nib on it. This is the green, forest green, also has a medium nib on it. And this is the brown striated, um, and this one has a fine nib on it. So they, they're just so cute and they are great writers. I just love the Schaefer Tuckaways, which is why I have three. So yeah, that is my fountain pen collection as it stands January 2021. Um, as I told you, I do have a Pelican on the way. I have my eye on another vintage um, and this obviously will be filled at some point this year which means I may outgrow this case. I don't really know, we shall see, but I thought it'd be fun to show you, as I said in the beginning of the video, where my collection stands now and compare it to the end of the year. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions about any particular pens, please let me know. I mean, look how pretty the vintage is. Look at all the colors. I was just like admiring that. Um, yeah, so. Please don't hesitate to comment down below if you have any questions or you can follow me on Instagram at the Miss Mrs. Mom and you can DM me there as well. As always, thank you so much for tuning in and until next time, see ya. Mm -hmm.